On October 21st, 2023, Phidias would post, I traveled across Japan for free. But little did he know that this would end up on every single news article, becoming dislike bombed by over a hundred thousand people and having an entire country permanently hating you. But this isn't the first bit of drama that Phidias has found himself in because back in July of 2022, he posted the video, I spent 100 hours in the world's poorest country. And right off the bat, it doesn't seem like a bad idea. That is until you immediately get blasted with the Mr. Beastification editing style and the fact that he made it into a challenge as if it would have been hard to be there. Phidias then goes on to brag about how cheap everything is there. One thousand, one dollar is two thousand. Yes. You got fifty cents? Can't cut. Actually, yeah. Fine, we something I can afford. He then proceeds to go on and invade a random person's house, showing us the poor quality of how they are living and all this is happening whilst a timer continuously pops up at the top of the screen showing us how long of the challenge he has left. I wouldn't even go as far to call this a challenge because when you think about how long a hundred hours is, it's realistically just an extra long weekend, but he's getting paid to be there regardless. One of the worst features however is the thumbnail. As we see Phidias surrounded by the children in the center, all with the Mr. Beast font down the bottom saying day four. But this wasn't actually the original thumbnail, as he had to change it from this because of the immense backlash, and with one glance, it's pretty obvious as to why nobody was a fan of it. Phidias can be seen doing this pose, which seems like he's flexing on the poor children, alongside a user calling him out on Twitter. I think what makes it more horrifying and hilarious, that I looked closer and he legit photoshopped more children in there that weren't actually in the original image, and the children that were looked absolutely disgusted by him. Circled in blue, I shopped definitely, but that's not even the worst tweet as Keemstar himself posted, YouTube content is trash now, whilst another person pointed out, how do you make that thumbnail and be like, yeah, that's good. Which is a good point, but doesn't compare anywhere near to the Japan video he posted recently, which has gotten him into such trouble that both videos he has posted since then haven't received one single nice comment. This time the video actually seems genuinely interesting as no one else has attempted to do this type of content. But the way Phidias created the video was outright illegal. Phidias begins by simply asking an innocent man for some money to catch the bus. So I ask a stranger to give me some money. Oh my god, I love you, I love you! Yes. But once he had to get off the bus was where the trouble started. The driver asked for 680 yen but Phidias only had 600 to give him, to which the driver began getting angry and ultimately locked him in the bus and drove him to the police station. Get off? Yes. 680. Yeah. 6. 680. 80. No, no. More. 80. No. Uh, police. No, no. Come on a police station. 80 yen. I don't know what she's saying. I think I got in trouble, guys. I couldn't believe it. He locked me in the bus and drove me to the police station just because I was 80 yen short. Not only did Phidias interrupt the driver's day, but everyone else that was on board had to go out of their way to deal with the situation. Now, the reasoning for this is because the rules in Japan are much different to everywhere else in the world, and they won't let anyone slack off because everybody there is so honest. In fact, it ranks at the 17th most trustworthy country in the world, and the 6th best country overall. Once Fidias had been held up at the police station for over 5 hours, the police had eventually gotten fed up with him, and they paid the fine of the remaining 80 yen to the bus driver. Now, keep in mind that this was all over 83 cents, so that's how big of a deal it is in Japan. You would think that Fidias would have learnt his lesson by spending 5 hours in a police station, but it's only 2 minutes later that he tries to get away with sneaking onto a train this time and hiding in the toilet for the entire trip. So I'm entering the train and I will find the toilet and go straight to the toilet. Here is the bathroom. I will just lock myself the whole time in the bathroom. 
Once Phidias arrives at his destination, he ends up getting out of the toilet, but unluckily for him, the ticket inspector seems to be right outside, waiting for him, and forces him off the train. Phidias pretends to be sick, and then decides to run away before the police could get to him, but that's not even the worst part, because Phidias goes on to do it again for a third time, not long after. When the video ends up coming to a conclusion, Phidias ends up winning the quote $10,000 that he said in the beginning of the video, but never actually shows proof of the money, so it's pretty obvious that there was no money involved, so as soon as the video went live, the hate instantly began flowing in, so Phidias had to leave a comment reading, Hello beautiful people, I apologise to the Japanese people, if we made them feel bad, that was not our goal. From now on, I am going to be make more research to the cultures we go to, and try to prevent this from happening again. I love you all. Which is the fakest apology anyone has written, as you can tell absolutely none of that came from the heart, and he is only apologising because of the backlash that he was receiving. This video has since been taken down for obvious reasons, but on a re-upload, the comments are still just as harsh. Thank you for for leaving the evidence of his criminal records in the internet. I can't believe I actually thought Phidias was a good guy, but he just exposed himself for being a liar and lost all my respect. But it's not just YouTube that now hate him. His Twitter is seeing just as bad reactions, even from a verified Japanese account asking to apologise. But it seems like Phidias just generally doesn't care, as his recent two uploads have received significantly less views than beforehand, and with both having way more dislikes than likes, it seems to be that Phidias really has disrupted his entire channel due to one singular video. 